All right, everybody, before I go, I want to say one more thing. The other day, I made a video about how I don't care if felons get guns. If they've served their time, I think they should have access to guns. Not a lot of people disagree with me, surprisingly, but some people really did take exception to the fact that in the title card of that video, I showed some black hands holding a gun while talking about undesirable people getting guns. And they said, that shows you're a racist. That was a racist thing to do. Well, is it a racist thing to do? Yes, of course it is. Because one of the things I was pointing out is that most of the anti-gun laws are racist. They were born in racism. They're still racist. The only reason a lot of people in the gun community still believe in denying felons guns is because they don't want black people and Hispanic people having guns because of their own racist beliefs. That exists today. Gun laws started out racist, and a lot of people nowadays, it's their own racism that keeps them supporting these ridiculous gun laws. And that was something I was pointing out. I was also pointing out with that picture that those laws still to this day affect black people unevenly because black people have not been allowed to prosper in this country. They have been held back, whether you like to believe it or not. It might be okay to say, well, any one person has the opportunity to drag themselves out of the gutter and become something. That's true. But collectively, as a group, they do not have the same opportunities. And that has affected their place in society today. That was another thing I was pointing out. It wasn't about me being racist. It was pointing out the racism of the whole topic. And I'm not saying I'm not racist. I'm a little bit racist. Everybody's a little bit racist. It's tribalism. It's built into our DNA. Doesn't mean we have to listen to that little part of ourselves that says that thing, but that little part's probably going to be there for most people. Less so my kids. I mean, they seem to not care at all about stuff like that. Sexuality, color, whatever. So I have hope for the next generation. But uh, the whole point was that it's racist. I'm a little racist. You're a little racist. Everybody's a little racist. We're also a little bigoted. Uh, I find myself in front of my sons saying things all the time about women drivers. In fact, uh, a son, my son and one of his friends was making fun of a woman who couldn't park her oversized truck the other day. And my son's friend making fun of my son said, it's probably because she's Hispanic. Those Hispanics can't drive because my son's Hispanic. And well, we don't really think he is now, but go with me here. Uh, and I said, no, that's racist. It's not because she's Hispanic. She can't drive because she's a woman, you know. That was bigoted of me. I mean, I accept it. Uh, if she'd been an Asian woman, I would have said it's because she's an Asian woman. You know, let's, yeah, let's all pretend that Asian women are great drivers and that there's no, no basis to that stereotype. Just like, let's pretend there's no basis to the stereotype that most felons are black, or at least they're people who are black tend to commit felonies at a much higher rate. Of course, they do. It's circumstantial, and it's because of our society, and it's because of problems we need to fix. We need to fix those things before we worry about gun laws. And choosing that picture wasn't about me being racist. It was about me pointing out how, like I said, gun laws themselves are racist, the circumstances are racist, and we still have a lot of people in this world, and even in this gun community, that justify a lot of gun laws because of their own racism.